Well, Gojo 24 is officially in the books. Morning meteorologist Joe Snedeker's annual bike ride to raise money for St. Joseph Center wrapped up just a few moments ago. Joe kicked off day six of pedaling in Susquehanna County. He made his way south through Forest City, then through his neck of the woods, the Carbondale area. He landed at Marywood University during our telethon for St. Joseph's Center before making his way to WNEP here in Music. Let's check in with Newswatch 16's John Meyer right outside our studios in Music to break down all of tonight's festivities. Hi, John. Hello, and Joe and Stacy. Team. And it was nice to have you out here in Alley to welcome back Joe. Joe is here after a great Gojo 24. How are you feeling? Yeah, I promised the viewers that I'd uh, take this bike and I'd go south, I'd go west, I'd go north, and I'd go east. And uh, we did that. We took the message of St. Uh, Joe's with me, and people were coming out on the streets and supporting St. Joe's, making donations. And I think it's nice to see the local weatherman come to your community, right, with the St. Joe's think message. I showed that definitely. And let's take yeah. a look at how much Gojo 24 raised. $254,179. This was the total for Gojo 24. Joe, just an incredible number. I like to say quarter of a mil. A quarter of a mil sounds a lot better, <laughs> doesn't it, sister? I think it's a great gift for St. Joseph Center and it will allow us to do a lot of great things. So we had the Gojo ride, which raised an incredible amount of money. And then tonight on WNEP for two hours, we asked you, the viewers, to add to this total, to help St. Joseph Center how you can in our telethon. A scaled back to the telethon this year since there's no festival. But take a look at how much the total is for Gojo and the St. Joseph Center telethon added together $313,105 from all of you throughout Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. And sister, this really goes a long way. It shows how much our community cares and how they respond to Joe's invitation, to everything they heard. You know, these messages of hope evoke something in people and they really wanted to support our cause. So I'm just so grateful to everyone in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. And this year you got to see some of the people that gave this money in person. And that's yeah, we, gotta be so cool. Yeah, considering the pandemic, we call this the porch tour. And boy, did people come out on their porch, you know? They, they literally had signs on the porch and they'd come running out to me from the porch. It was just great. It was wonderful to see how excited they were yeah. and how it was a hope-filled and joy-filled day. It yeah. changed everybody's day. For They wanted to be a part of St. Joe's and they wanted to be a part of uh, the bike ride. And there is it. There, there it is, is. 313,000. And we want to just say one effort. There's no festival this year, but there is a chicken dinner at Marywood University tomorrow. Chicken dinner? That is yeah. it, to benefit St. Joseph Center. There's still chicken dinners available. You can pre buy online at WNEP.com. You can find out all how to do that. So, on behalf of all of us here, Stacy, we're going to send it back to you. How about that total, Stacy? Northeastern and Central PA coming through again. It never gets old. Always amazing to see Joe, John, and Sister Mary Ellis. Thank you so much for your efforts tonight.